I've been blown away by as soon as we put up somebody's door to the first single, I couldn't actually believe like the reading the kindest things. And I think, yeah, I was just blown. I just didn't expect that. And I think when you read that kind of stuff, it's a bit like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I think because it's been so long and and um, for people to, I don't know, just really care and listen to it, it's just, it just means so much to me for someone who's been uh, so many years in the making of, of putting it out. So that really meant loads. Obviously with the trolling, that's, you know, with somebody's daughter, the sort of message that runs through it is very much be kind. Yes. And I know that you've experienced some bad trolling in the past yeah. and found that really hard. Yeah. How do you kind of feel now that affects people in the industry because obviously there have been some stories we spoke about how you be you're quite good at dealing with it but we've there have been some awful stories Caroline Flack for example who I know was a friend of yours how do you feel about this across the industry and the impact it has on people yeah I think um I think the most thing yeah it's just to make people aware that um it putting kind of negativity out there, it's never gonna be, never gonna be a good thing. And I, I just hope that, like I said, the song t to, is about reminding people to spread love and kindness. It doesn't just affect people in the public eye. Obviously, people in the public eye get it a lot, but it happens to people across the board in all, all walks of life. Um, and I think sometimes people can just be quick to judge when they don't know the whole thing. Nobody knows what's going on behind closed doors. Was Caroline in the back of your mind when you wrote that song? Um, obviously she, she had to deal with some really tough stuff, um, which I don't think anyone should have to go through at all. Um, and yeah, having, I've, like I said, I've kind of had those experiences myself, but she had to, to go through some real, real tough stuff. And yeah, it was not nice. Because you got quite close when you were on Strictly together, didn't you? Yeah, 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 she was amazing. And, and she, um, you know, when I think of Caroline, she brought so much joy and I was on Strictly the year when she won Strictly and I saw her being the lead in Chicago when she was Roxy Hart and she loved being on stage in show business and she just brought so much joy. Um, yeah, so that was awful what she had to go through.